that. French heavyweight championship, Marcel Neal in the black shorts against Georges Carpentier. And Carpentier, massive favourite for this, comes in as a former European light heavyweight and heavyweight champion. Velodrome in Paris, 1923, absolutely packed to the rafters. And Marcel Neal, very inexperienced in comparison, comes into this one with nine wins and three defeats so far in just 12 fights. And uh, Georges Carpentier, very experienced. Round two then, Carpentier with 84 wins, 11 losses and 5 draws in 100 professional fights. A massively warm favourite here against Marcel Neal. <laughs> 29 years of age. And of course, Georges Carpentier, the crowd favourite. Lens in France, known as the Orchid Man. And Marcel Neal, a real rough, tough handful. But he can be outclassed. Nice right there from him. So at stake then, the French light heavyweight title. This is a title that uh, is no stranger to Georges Carpentier. Lost his European light heavyweight and heavyweight titles and his world championship to boot when he fought back in Siki in his last fight and got knocked out in six rounds. Siki, the man who used to stroll the streets with a lion in tow. But some terrific form on the Carpentier record. Wins over Ted Kid Lewis. First round knockout, in fact, of a scheduled 20. So round three. And this scheduled for 15 rounds, despite being a French title. So, Georges Carpentier then, in the white. And Marcel Neal wants to do well here. And interestingly, Neal won the uh, French heavyweight title in just his third pro fight. Defended it successfully on a couple of occasions. And here he is, I think, making the fourth defence of that crown against Carpentier, who's going down a step. So rough, tough, uncompromising battle between these two Frenchmen. Georges Carpentier, not a scientific kind of fighter. As you can see, Neil here is uh, quite a rough house. <laughs> Round four. 
and Georges Carpentier, former world light heavyweight champion in the white shorts, and Marcel Neal, both battling for Neal's French heavyweight title. Takes a good right there from Carpentier. And as you can see, there's quite a big physical difference between these two men. Carpentier more scientific in every way. And a very cool operator, by the way, Carpentier. So Neil then getting tied up on the inside here. So it's around five. And uh, as you can see, Georges Carpentier very, very adept here at tying up Marcel Neil on the inside. Still a big, rough, tough man. And Carpentier at times has had to grit his teeth in this one. Well, Carpentier, they're practicing a move before carrying it out. So Georges Carpentier then out to reclaim the title he has held previously. And he's got to fight his hands here. A very physical battle between these two men. So round six it is. Scheduled for 15, and that's a stumble by... Well, in fact, it was more than a stumble by Marcel Neal there. He got caught on the inside by Carpentier. He takes the manager eight count from the referee, who says, just box on. So Carpentier then in charge here. Knocked down in round six. Despite the natural size difference between these two men, Carpentier has proved to be the tougher and harder punching of the two. Well, looks like Neil's trying to hold on here. So Carpentier lands a left and a right. And Marcel Neal once again doesn't want to get involved here. He wants to hang on. Round seven. And Carpentier's up the heat since that knockdown occurred in the fifth round. So, Marcel 
Neil under pressure and on the verge of losing his title here. So Neil then up against the former European and World Light Heavyweight Champion. Ponche, good thinking fighter, good boxer, good puncher. Left hook there from him, body shots to follow. Marcel Neal doesn't want to get too heavily involved here. But how does he keep the challenger off? Carponte working solidly on the inside. So round eight then of the scheduled 15 and uh, Georges Carponte in the white shorts has had Marcel Neal on the floor twice so far. And it's been a tough battle this for the reigning and defending French, like, French heavyweight champion Marcel Neal against his stiffest opposition so far. This, of course, a stepping stone for Carpentier. If he wins this one, he'll go on from here. In fact, it's a stepping stone up and a step down. Oh, lovely uppercut there and a left hook. And Marcel Neal goes tumbling in his own corner. Will he beat the count? It's all over, so Georges Carpentier regains the French heavyweight crown, beating Marcel Neal in eight rounds.